James Weldon Johnson was born in 1871, the first black man admitted to the Florida bar, songwriter in New York, former executive secretary of the NAACP, and a professor of creative literature at Fisk University, a poet. Many of you know he wrote the lyrics to Lift Every Voice and Sing, the Black National Anthem. And he also wrote this collection of poems called God's Trombones, based on sermons he'd heard as a young boy in church. It's from this collection that we read this morning's poem, The Creation, by James Weldon Johnson. And God stepped out on space and he looked around and said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world. And as far as the eye of God could see, darkness covered everything blacker than a hundred midnights down in a cypress swamp. And God smiled and the light broke and the darkness rolled up onto one side and the light stood shining on the other and God said, that's good. Then God reached out and took the light in his hands and God rolled the light around in his hands until he made the sun. And he set that sun ablazing in the heavens and the light that was left from making the sun God gathered that up in a shining ball and flung it against the darkness, spangling the night with the moon and the stars. Then down between the darkness and the light, he hurled the world, and God said, that's good. Then God himself stepped down and the sun was in his right hand and the moon was in his left and the stars were clustered about his head and the earth was under his feet. And God walked and where he trod, his footsteps hollowed the valleys out and bulged the mountains up. And then he stopped and looked and saw that the earth was hot and barren. So God stepped over the edge of the world and spat out the seven seas. He batted his eyes and the lightning flashed. He clapped his hands and the thunder rolled and the waters came down. The cooling waters came down. Then the green grass sprouted, and the little red flowers blossomed. The pine tree pointed his fingers to the sky, and the oaks spread out his arms. The lakes cuddled down in the hollows of the ground, and the rivers ran down to the sea. And God smiled again, and a rainbow appeared and curled itself around his shoulder. Then God raised his arm and he waved his hand over the sea and over the land and he said, bring forth, bring forth. And quicker than God could drop his hand, fishes and fowls, beasts and birds swam the rivers and the seas, roamed the forests and the woods and split the air with their wings. And God said, that's good. Then God walked around and God looked around at all that he had made. He looked at his sun and he looked at his moon and he looked at his little stars. He looked on his world with all its living things and God said, I'm lonely still. Then God sat down on the side of a hill where he could think 
By a deep, wide river, he sat down with his head in his hands. God thought and thought until he thought, I'll make me a man. Up from the bed of the river, God scooped the clay. And by the bank of the river, he kneeled him down. And there, the great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who flung the stars to the most far corner of the night, who rounded the earth in the middle of his hand, this great God, like a mammy bending over her baby, kneeled down in the dust, toiling over a lump of clay, till he shaped it in his own image. Then into it, he blew the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Amen. Amen. And now our offering for the works and ministries of this congregation will be both given and gratefully received. Mm -hmm. 